Hey y'all, Jesse Lee Cantrell here of Cantrell and Cat Boot Company. Uh, video number three. We ended up the last one where I was. I did the first crimp, and now I'm doing a more severe hard crimp, which you can see goes at much more of an angle and meets the patterns. Remember the old tin patterns there? So that is done. Now I want to point out something. You see the width of the back of the boot and you can see the width of the front of the boot. If you examine Civil War era and before boots, the front panel is always smaller than the back panel and as I am reproducing uh, 1872 to 1876 uh, early cowboy boots uh, I'm doing them in a, you know in the Civil War pattern which is what they would have been done like so at the tops the tops were on the early boots more of a, a straight cut because if you if you had the cut on the boot like this like on a conventional cowboy boot your side seam would be off now these are the same boots I've been working on I just haven't had the time to get around doing it. There's your, there's your top. You got them marked out there, and this is genuine Morocco leather. It's very, very super expensive, very, very hard to find, and I'm bringing this little flourish down here. And at the top, you can see there's a little bit like this, which is the precursor to the cowboy boot going like that. And it's the same on the front. For the, for the counters, I have used uh, a heavy uh, horse butt leather. Six seven, and that of course will go underneath this way, so this will be plain. And the top linings will be of this beautiful, showing up real yellow, but it's not. It's a it's a golden horse butt, but it's it's got a nice hand to it. It's very soft. And Morocco, as you can see, it's a, it's a reddish Morocco. Uh, it's finely, finely pebbled. I don't know if I can really get in on that. So this is the next step. Uh, after this, I will be pasting. these uh, these tops on they'll be marked out and they'll be stitched I haven't decided whether I'm going to stitch by hand with the tiny stitches or I'm going to use uh, the 1876 Bradbury either way everything will be authentic uh, I won't be using modern glues I'll be using uh, wheat paste to put uh, this together and wheat paste right here too and uh, there's my partner, John Henry. As, as you can see, he's gotten really big. Hi, John. He's gotten really big. The last time he was a kitten here in the shop, he was only as big as his own leg. Now he's gotten big. So this is uh, Jesse Lee Cantrell of Cantrell and Cat 
Boot Company, last 19th century boot maker, signing off for now. Seems like Cat says we've had a good work day, and that's done. And I'll come back when we put everything together, and then we'll continue on from there with these uh, 1870s cowboy boots. Have a good one now.